Isn't it such a nice surprise that I didn't fall off the face of the earth? What's up, peeps? Yeah, hi, I'm here. Woohoo. Um, today's a snow day, which I'm very thankful for because school has become completely unbearable. Senioritis is really hitting me, as in, I'm basically in most classes and like I'm taking notes and like I'm kind of listening, but like I'm not really listening. Like, you know, when like you're reading a book and you like scan over the text and like you're reading the text and you're not comprehending at all? That's me right now. And the thing is, I'm not just doing this with school, I'm doing it in like real life too, where like people will be talking to me i'll be like yeah and then i, I fi they finish talking i'm like what did you say again yeah i really can't wait for this year to end because i really can't wait to go to college i don't know if you guys want to know where i'm going to college because i feel like i'm going to probably make college videos next year and honestly i think it's about time that i actually got real with my identity because pretty much nobody on this page knows anything about me except for my name and that's about it you don't know anything else so i'm probably gonna reveal what college i go to once i commit because i do have a choice that is very likely but i'm still waiting for some schools but so we'll find out college journey is quite an enjoyable one sometimes other times it's not as in writing a lot of essays about yourself is really hard especially when you can't come up with ideas to write about yourself because you're just getting it's so hard like i don't know all you juniors out there it's so hard enjoy yourself and no well you're not gonna enjoy yourself just try your best i hate that expression the old college try because no you're just paying $80 to send an application to some school it's probably gonna reject you anyway so no there's no such thing as the college try I'm so pessimistic it's kind of funny well my favorite thing about my college list was that I was incredibly realistic with my lists because I basically only put schools on my list that I actually like probably could get into as in I had pretty much no like extreme reach schools like I still have reach schools but like I have a chance like my grades match the statistics of the school. It's not like I was like, I'm gonna play to Harvard University. Like, no. This whole waiting process is really a hard one, but I'm really excited that there's snow on the ground. As you can see, the snow is beautiful. Um, life is really a hard one. I really have just run out of ideas to say, except um, get vaccinated. There's some people around me who I see um, probably weekly that are unvaccinated and it's incredibly uncomfortable to know that they are unvaccinated and that they could so easily pass on any disease, not any disease, oh my God, that they could so easily pass on Omicron to me. I'm just lucky that I've been boosted because I am 18, I was eligible a while ago, but please for the love of God, get vaccinated. Like you've been vaccinated for all of like the diseases that you need to go to public school So just please get vaccinated there. It's not chemicals trying to go into your body It's trying to save you from a deadly disease Why would anyone like use this as like a scam to just inject drugs into your body? It makes little to no sense. So thanks for watching this little rant I keep saying I'm gonna make more videos and like I will probably after mid-years because after mid-years is like when my grades aren't being sent to schools anymore So I'll like I'll still try but I'll like I'll be able to chill out a little bit. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe down below for new videos every single Friday. I need to stop, that can't be my slogan anymore. So thanks for watching. Get, get your booster shot, goodbye.